watch tonight, a new high when it comes to blood pressure. The American Heart Association is actually lowering the threshold for what it believes is a safe blood pressure reading. 140 over 90 has long been the blood pressure to stay below, but now the American Heart Association says that number doesn't cut it. And its new safe number means a lot more people are considered high risk. Dr. Malika Marshall has the details. Let's check your blood pressure. Charles Cronenwith has been working to lower his blood pressure for the last 10 years. Tens of millions more Americans will soon be learning they, too, have hypertension. The American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology are now defining a top reading of 130 or more or a bottom reading of 80 or more as high blood pressure. The old definition of high was 140 over 90. Most of them just need to know they're at high risk but they can manage that problem on their own. The change is expected to have the biggest impact on men and women who are under the age of 45. That would mean that they would have to exercise more, have a better diet, a diet that's low in sodium, restrict alcohol, and lower stress. Under the new guidelines, 120 or less is still normal blood pressure, but up to 129 is considered elevated, and at 130 begin the different stages of high blood pressure, and an increasing risk of heart attack and stroke. Even though 14% more people will be diagnosed with high blood pressure, only a small portion will need to take medication. Preventing getting hypertension is much better than treating hypertension. It's good to treat it when it's there, but it is way better to prevent it. Try to eat a, a heart healthy diet and exercise. Charles says he checks his blood pressure every day and now more Americans will be getting instructions on how to do just that. Okay, Lisa, so I have to say that primary care providers have sort of been focusing on those lower numbers for a while now as a red flag for things to come. We sort of talked about something called prehypertension, which they've gotten rid of. So I don't think it's going to be a huge shock to the medical community, but I think to a lot of Americans out there it will be. Sure. Okay, so let's say you go to your doctor and your blood pressure is 135 over 85. Does that mean you have high blood pressure? You might, but usually we like to see high blood pressure on at least two or three separate occasions before we make the diagnosis. And you can actually check your own blood pressure at home. You just have to make sure you get a really accurate machine and that you use it properly. For example, you have to hold your arm at heart level. You should take it a couple of times after, uh, during the day. Don't take it right after you wake up. So you might want to take your new blood pressure machine to your doctor's office so that you can make sure you're using it accurately so you can monitor your own at home. Well, if nothing else, you might be able to make some changes based on these results. That'll keep you living longer. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, That's doctor. the hope.